Paige Schwanhauser with Food and Water Watch. And I'm Natalie. I'm a researcher here at Food and Water Watch. And Natalie and I are here today to shed a little bit of light onto plastic water bottles, the plastic industry as a whole, and the health impacts that plastic can have on us. So we know that the plastic water bottle industry really puts a lot of resources into making us believe that the water that's inside these bottles is safer for us to drink than the water that's coming from our taps. This Fiji brand, for example, claims that it's untouched by man, bottled straight at the source. But a lot of times these claims about purity and safety are pretty misleading. Natalie, why is that the case? Yeah, Kate, so bottle, uh, bottled water in the U.S. is regulated less than tap water. Uh, it's tested less, so if it gets contaminated with something like bacteria, it goes on and becomes an undetected problem for much longer, basically growing into a widespread problem that's harder to solve. So for water safety, you're just better going off with tap. That's right. We do know that unfortunately, not everybody's tap water is safe for them to drink, so that's why Food and Water Watch is also working to pass the Water Act, which would provide critical uh, funding to upgrade our water infrastructure and make sure that everyone does have water that's safe straight from their taps. And if you are concerned about the safety or quality of your own tap water, we have some resources for you on our website, including uh, how to choose a water, a water filter that's right for you. So now let's talk about the issue of the plastic part of this bottle itself. So research shows that the plastic is actually breaking down and releasing smaller particles known as microplastics into this water, which you would then be drinking. And you definitely don't wanna do that since microplastics are known to cause a ton of human health problems. Natalie, what are some of the problems that microplastics have been linked to? They're huge problems, Kate. They've been linked to things like developmental harm, reproductive harm, and even cancer. And we still don't know enough about these microplastic particles. A lot of research on this issue is still growing and there's just so much we don't know. Um, but what we do know is that a liter of this water in plastic water bottles contains around 240,000 microplastic particles. So imagine taking into consideration the health issues and the actual amount of plastic particles you are ingesting from drinking this plastic water. Um, what's worse is that the majority of plastic in water bottles has been found to be nanoplastics, and nanoplastics are much more smaller than microplastics. Some of those particles are even about the width of one one thousandth of a human strand of hair. Uh, that basically means it's small enough to enter many of our organs, like livers and our brains and our bloodstreams, where they can wreak even more havoc on our bodies. Right, and if these lax regulations and the microplastics weren't bad enough, the bottling process can actually add even more contamination to the water that's going into these bottles. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Kate. Um, our research cites that the bottling and the storing process of these plastic water bottles can add a lot of really serious contaminants into our water, such as heavy metals, benzene, pesticides, uh, and PFAS. What's more is that plastic, bottle, plastic water bottles in general contribute to around 400 million tons of waste annually into our environment. And 85% of that just ends up in landfills or as unregulated waste. All right, now let's hear from another Food and Water Watch expert. Hi, this is Jorge from Food and Water Watch. Bottled water companies are spending a ton of money to convince us that their water is safer and better. But on average, bottled water actually contains more plastics than your average cup of water from the tap. And this plastic ultimately ends up in landfills and in our waterways. Right, which we definitely don't want to be seeing. So Jorge, what's something that we can all do to stop this plastic pollution? Yeah, I think we got to go directly to the source and hold these corporations accountable. So we are asking folks to write their member of Congress in support of the Break Free from Plastics Pollution Act. Uh, this bill would actually hold corporations responsible for the cleanup of this pollution and curb single-use plastic production. And the link is going to be in the video. And we'll also include a link for the Water Act, uh, so you can also send a message to your representative asking them to support that legislation, which would make public water safe for everyone. Mm -hmm. 